Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Nathan. Just want to say uh, good evening, everyone, both the East West Coast. If you guys enjoyed your day today here on Monday, hope you guys are also starting the week off very positive and very bright. And for this video tonight, of what we want to talk about is WB announces the release of Emma on Sunday uh, morning, full statement. So let's go right into it. The link will be in the description down below. It's from uh, RussellVideo.com, posted by Ann Martin on the 29th of October 2017, which was yesterday on Sunday. Over the weekend, and it says, Moments ago, WB.com announced the release of Emma from the company. And this is from their statement. Uh, WB has come to terms, uh, quote, WB has come to terms on the release of W Superstar Emma. WB wishes Emma the best in all of her future endeavors. Emma Tenille Dashwood just took part in a match with Asuka in what was Asuka's main roster debut last Sunday at the TLC pay per view. The two also had a rematch on Raw the following night. She signed a, de a developmental deal with WWE back in 2011 after a stint on the independent wrestling scene that started in 2005 and later was started back up in 2008 after injuries. Dashwood has not commented on release as of this morning. Thanks to our friends at the Online World of Wrestling for help with this report. Um, and you know, I gotta say, that there's a part of me that feels bad for Emma. But there's a part of me that also feels relieved for Emma. The part of me that feels bad for Emma is, you know, she got released from WWE. I mean, when she was brought up on the main roster in NXT, I think everyone had high hopes for her. But, you know, of course, with the booking and, you know, uh, the things that Emma got involved with behind the scenes, that halted her momentum. Um, and in NXT, she was booked very well. I mean, I didn't like the whole, you know, uh, gimmick that she did there. I mean, it wasn't I didn't like it. I wasn't a big fan of it, but... It started to grow on me, and I think that she was very entertaining. But the only issue was, you know, when she got the main roster, you know, this was the only thing that people pay attention to instead of her uh, skills in the ring. Um, and that skit she had with Satino Morella, not, I was not uh, happy about that. I didn't like it at all. Um, but, you know, she, Emma did have a very good match at uh, TLC against Asuka, she held her own. I mean, we all thought it was going to be a squash match, but I think that WWE wanted to really show that, that you know, this, this, uh, besides Asuka, Emma has a lot of, uh, you know, gas left in the tank in her, and she and Asuka went at it, and it was a great match. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, but I think for Emma, WWE really lost a lot of opportunities to make her and her character big on the main roster for WWE. I mean, her gimmick... I think it was, uh, uh, I don't know, I think it was a couple years ago and it still continued. I think she was still, uh, she had a Bullet Club gimmick type where it was she had sunglasses, uh, black uh, lip, uh, lip gloss over her lips, and, you know, had this, like, uh, armor or something uh, for attire, something that was similar to the Bullet Club. And I would have loved to see her become part of the uh, club, excuse me, the club, if WWE was going to put uh, Finn Balor, Gals and Anderson, and uh, AJ together, I, I would have loved to see Emma become part of the club as, as well. But, you know, it's too bad it's not going to happen to me. And it's just unfortunate uh, that, you know, this happened. But I think that for Emma, she can now do bigger and better things in the Indies and around the world, no matter where she goes. I do think I do think that she should go to uh, G um, to me Impact Wrestling, not GFW. Um, but it, it's up to her where she wants to go. I think she would get more ch chances outside of WWE, you know, New Japan Pro Wrestling, or somewhere else that you know you can't, um, or somewhere else that you know you haven't you, we haven't heard of. Uh, but you know, big and better things are coming for Emma. And she is one of my favorite divas, not divas, but uh, female wrestlers, competitors in WWE. And she just had a lot of potential, and WWE just didn't know what to do with her. You know, also don't forget about that um, that uh, gimmick of her that were, you know, they were showing promos of Emma on the beach in her bikini. And then, you know, she didn't really come out or anything. They just kept hyping, hyping and, you know, promoting her return. And, you know, nothing just happened. But... I do want to wish Emma nothing more but the best in career moving forward. But some of the guys think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you neutral about WWE announcing the release of Emma on, on Sunday over the weekend and uh, releasing uh, their full statement? And if so, tell me in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to always comment on the channel, guys. And 
Also, next time, it was nice to Peace. Take care. I will see you guys there for next week coming up uh, tomorrow morning or in a couple minutes. So, stay tuned. So, on next time, take care, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a good night. We'll see you guys later for next week, for next video coming up uh, in a little bit and then right now. So, I will see you guys later. Bye.